so they had to stick a rod through my femur to connect it. Ada has a long recovery ahead. She was hit by a Newcastle County officer's bullet during this exchange Monday night. Newcastle County police say their officers were watching Ada and her friend Andrew as part of a drug investigation. The officers sort of blocked their vehicle and approached quickly as the pair arrived at the Maryland Avenue 7-Eleven. When they jumped out, they were in a blacked out truck. There was no lights, no nothing. We didn't know who it was until they got out. And after, like, after we seen like the gun and everything, that's the first thing we saw was somebody yelling at us. They didn't acknowledge that they were the cops. She says Andrew had his grandmother's Hyundai in drive when this all happened, and the car only started moving once Andrew had been hit. Police have said they fired at the car because it was coming toward them. But then when he realized it was the cops, he put his hands up and he said, please don't shoot. The minute he said that, they started shooting. I did reach out to Newcastle County Police today to get an update on the investigation and a response to some of the things Ada told me today. Police will only say, though, that they continue to investigate and interview witnesses. I'm almost cried out. I don't think I have any more tears to cry. Craig Edelman is Andrew's dad. Police say they found drugs and a gun in the car Andrew was driving. He says his son smoked marijuana but didn't use anything else. And he says he legally owned an AR-15 he moved here from Texas with. He says it was in the back of the car and didn't have anything to do with what happened here. I'm not anti-police. I actually support the police. I support the blue badge, you know. Craig says he is a strong supporter of law enforcement, but after watching different surveillance video angles, he says he is convinced this should not have ended with police firing on Andrew and Ada. He believes that based on what Ada has told him, that Andrew probably thought he was being carjacked, and he believes his son was shot before the car started moving toward the officer. It wasn't like he took off like a bat out of hell, and... She said when he, when he hit him, he just slumped this way, and the wheel went with him. The officer who fired the shots is now on administrative leave. Craig and Ada's families are now working with a lawyer to try to get answers they don't believe they could get on their own. Tim Furlong, NBC10 News.